hi guys you're welcome back to another cooking video and i always say stay subscribed because you will not love to miss out on any recipe at all on this channel leave me a comment as to which tribe eats cookie corn in cameroon let me know and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to share and also enjoy the video well you guys in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to cook cookie corn this is a sweet and savory yet delicious dish it is eaten in cameroon and this dish is eaten according to seasons in the sense that you do not have fresh corn at all times and so when we get the opportunity to have fresh corn we make sure we use it properly and so cookie corn is one of the meals produced by using fresh corn also if you are watching out of cameroon let me know in the comment section which other african country eats this particular dish as a traditional meal let me know which other african country has this particular dish as their traditional meal i would love to know i'll say this is a universal dish because it is eaten by most people you do not have a particular tribe that eats it and i think this applies to every other traditional dish so unity in diversity so i have told you guys about the very first and most important thing you should take note of which is you should use fresh corn corn that has been cut from the farm directly that day if you really want maximum enjoyment and also you guys what you do is you you cut your corn off the cup and then you're going to actually add some pepper to it add some onions and you're going to grind this that's what you're going to do you're going to grind it to form a paste if you have a blender at home you can use it but then we are going to use the grinding meal thereafter you're going to wipe your leaves gently your plantain leaves you're going to wipe them gently by using a very soft and clean foam and as you can see you really need to wipe your leaves because some have mold on them so you need to wipe it you need to clean it but when doing this you're supposed to be extremely careful so you do not rip your leaves apart so you're going to go gently and you're just going to clean your leaves some people use plastics you see who we'll use plastics some people use tins that's okay and this is our paste, our corn paste. And you're just going to season this up. This is a one pot meal. So you should make sure that you season it up properly. So I've gone in with my salt. I've gone in with my Maggi cubes and my Maggi crevette too. I'm going in now with my country onions. This country onions is actually optional. Some people add it, some people do not add it. So you can actually decide on whether to add it or not so you're going to give this a proper mix so that you know if anything is lacking and then you adjust it thereafter adding some water because you do not want your cookie corn to be extremely hard you add in some water so it's going to be a lighter butter and you're going to mix properly for most people they really like their cookie corn hard and so they're not going to add in water although adding very little water so you're going to heat up some oil palm oil to be precise and you're going to add it to your cookie corn you're going to add it to your cookie corn and you're going to mix it properly always use a larger bowl because you never can tell you do not want anything to spill so you're going to heat up your palm oil and you're going to add it to your paste and you're going to stir properly mind you guys everything you add is for a short period because subsequently you might see that you need to add in more of either your spices or seasonings or more of your oil so you should make sure that you mix everything together here we have our cocoa leaves cocoa yam leaves or taro leaves and we're actually just going to mix everything properly you have to slice your taro leaves what is cookie corn without your kukuyam leaves or taro leaves? What is that cookie corn?
as sticks of corn. We are going to use it as the base where we stand our cookie corn. And we'll need a deep bowl, a round bowl. And we are just going to place our leaves. Add in our butter and we are just going to tie. Remember the ropes I showed you guys that was tied on these plantain leaves at the beginning? That's what we are going to be using. And whenever you are tying your cocky corn, you should not exert so much pressure. Because you do not want to roughly handle it. Else it's going to tear or it's going to burst. And this is what we are doing. Some people use ropes, other ropes. But I just think you should not really exert so much pressure while tying it. But you should tie it properly. You should seal it properly. And that is it. So we are going to stand this with the fire. Adding water from time to time. Because it needs steam to cook. So we are using the fire side and we are just going to cover with plantain leaves so the steam is going to cook it properly. And this cocky corn was on the fire from 4 p.m. till 6.30 p.m. Meaning it took some time to cook because our cocoyam leaves actually were itching. Yes, so we needed to take more time to cook it and... From time to time, like I said, you're just going to be dropping water so it does not get burnt, it does not get dry. And voila, our cookie corn is ready. And I took out a bundle to show you guys the sample. We are just going to open this bundle of cookie corn. And you're going to see the goodness that there is in this bundle. Here you go. Look at how good it is. I kid you not, when you actually cook it and it is very, very hot, once you open the leaf, it's going to look softer. So you're going to let it cool before you want to open it, if you actually want to show the form. And here you have your yummy cookie corn and bon appetit, you guys. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching. Bye.